listen, I know this sounds crazy, but your father is a CIA operative, your mother works for the KGB, your sister is a terrorist, and your grandmother was the gunman on the grassy knoll. I know I'm a complete stranger, but you're going to have to trust me. They're planning to detonate a nuclear weapon in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and blame it on the Dutch. Listen, I'll take care of all that. I need you to rescue my daughter. She's lost in the mountains, and feral pigs are after her. I don't know. Get a shotgun. Rony. Well, the pastor asked me to do it, so I said, sure! Every once in a lifetime, we meet someone who literally changes us forever. Rony is not one of those people. I may not be the most eloquent orator on this side of the lights and the camera, but I am not going to say no to my new church. I have been a member of 10 churches in the last eight and one half years. See, see, here's what I do. I join these churches with hope. Hope that they'll provide me with what I need. Ronnie's thoughts on worship. Music. Music draws me in. There is no question about it. Look, I may not play an instrument, but I know worship, and music equals worship, okay? God created me to spend at least a 15 to 17 minute block of music each week at church in worship. And that's in the Bible, folks. I can show you anywhere in the Psalms. Ronnie's thoughts on preaching. Okay, then the worship finishes, and then the preacher stands up and preaches. Now, God and I both require that the preacher makes me laugh and makes me cry. The sermon must have a story every four to five minutes or else I just get lost in all that history of the Jews stuff. The preacher, I like to say, feeds me. Ronnie's thoughts on spiritual growth. When you think about it, I guess that's why I love modern Christianity so much. It's just so easy to be a part of it, but to always reserve the right to just leave the church when they don't meet my expectations. I mean, okay, all right, all right. Okay, maybe God's asking me to take responsibility for my own spiritual growth. No, he isn't. That's silly. I mean, that's what the pastor gets paid to do. He gets paid to learn and to grow and to pursue God so I don't have to. Yeah. Pray to the Lord. Pray to him while he can be found, for he is near us whenever we pray. His eyes open, his ears attentive, listening to what is said in hearts and whispers, when tears fall down cheeks, in silence, when no words can be said but thank you, according to his compassion, according to his kindness and his great love, he is our dwelling place. So cry aloud, call on him, bowed on bended knees, confess sins, offer petitions, watch and pray. Find your own mountainside, your own garden of Gethsemane. Pray in lonely places when things are good and not so good. Pray for those who are unable to pray for themselves Themselves. Stand guard, mind your post, stand on the wall in the gap as words lifted to God build bridges to nations. Prayers are seeds planted, even if you never get to see them grow. God is the gardener, paying close attention to the soil of prayers lifted for generations yet to be born. In the place of prayer is where peace can be found. And we may not know how or why, but we know who. And when you are spent of words to pray, he prays for you, taking all the things you can't give voice to, surrendering them at the feet of one who is all powerful, whose words extend past time, whose love is so wide and deep that it is immeasurable. 
Pray and don't give up. Pray earnestly. Raise your voice and quiet your soul that God may dwell in your heart. Pray when you're anxious. Pray when you're afraid. Be watchful and thankful. Pray continually. Pray to the Father, to a God who is faithful, to a God who hears. Cry out for the living God. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. What does it mean to commit? When you sit in a chair, you commit your personal safety to that chair. When you drive over a bridge, or put money in a bank, or get on a plane, you are putting your trust in something or someone. The more you trust, the more you are willing to commit. To enter the kingdom of God, we must become like little children. A child completely trusts his parents. We have something more reliable than any parent, more trustworthy than any bank, and more stable than any chair. We have a God who has promised to never leave us or forsake us. make me look fat. What? You look like a supermodel. I, you look fantastic. Newlyweds. Do these pants make me look fat? We could get you a treadmill for Christmas if you really wanted one. Oh! Not so newlyweds. Hey, I heard the car pull up. Let me get one of these bags. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Newlyweds. Honey, there's, there's somebody at the door. Not so newlyweds. You look really handsome tonight. It's only because I have to keep up with my beautiful wife. Newlyweds. You know, you could have at least not worn a hat. Or a pizza joint, not a rehearsal dinner. Not so newlyweds. Honey, that, you missed your turn. <sighs> Sorry, I'll turn around. No worries, we can be a little late. Newlyweds. I can't believe you just missed your turn again. Do you want me to drive? Sure, if you, you want. You know what? Just get us there! Not so newlyweds. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no worries. It's kind of cute. Newlyweds. Sorry. Not so newlyweds. Well, thanks, honey, for helping me with the dishes. The quicker we get done with this, the sooner I can eat your delicious cooking. Newlyweds. Would you mind helping me with the dishes? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna finish the sports section real quick. So what you're saying is you never wanna have sex with me again because that's what it sounds like. Not so newlyweds.